Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be showing you how to install a kitchen strainer. Hey everyone, thanks for joining our channel. I'm Clayton. And I'm Karsten. And we are the Plumbing Gurus. Yeah, and on this channel we're looking to save you money and keep you informed on the proper plumbing practices. And if you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing. Alright guys, let's get into this video. Let's do it. Alright guys, so we got the guru question of the day. What is your favorite breakfast meal to eat? Let us know in the comments below. That's right, Karsten, thank you very much. Mine is nothing. I fast till 12 every day. I try to anyways. So <clears throat> here we have the strainer. So I just kind of took it all and separated and took all the parts uh, so that you guys would be able to see exactly what is going on here. So here we have the basket. And on top of the basket of the strainer, we have a gasket. And this will sit underneath your sink. So this is here what makes the seal. And then on the strainer part, this particular strainer that we have comes with a, it's kind of like a foam gasket here that sits on the strainer just like this here. And instead of using plumber's putty, if this is supplied with the strainer, I would just use this. It works just fine. And I don't know if you can see on the strainer, but there's marking on the top there. It's a little crown. So you want to install that and have that facing straight up just for aesthetics. So we'll just slide that in just like that. And then on here, we have the um, bolt here. This is what connects the strainer to the basket. And you can see inside the basket, there's just a little piece there that's inserted that has metal threads there which this goes to, to, will tie into and I'll show you guys that after. And then below as well we have the tailpiece and with the tailpiece you got to make sure that there's a little rubber gasket to make a proper water seal underneath the sink. And that's it. Let's go underneath the sink and I'll show you guys how to install this. Alright so now that I got the strainer set on the sink I'm going to take the basket I'm going to push put the basket underneath but I'm going to take this um, bolt here and I'm just going to push it down from up top and then I'm going to screw the basket into the bolt. So as I'm spinning I'm putting pressure on the bolt on top so that it doesn't spin. Let me get it nice and snug and tight. hand tight just like that and then I'll take you up here and I'll show you the uh, bolt that we tighten. Alright so as you can see um, the basket and the strainer don't line up so in this case with this particular strainer we can just turn the basket so that it all lines up nicely or else you'll get food and stuff stuck in there a lot easier. And now, we'll grab a nice big flathead and we'll tighten. Bolt oh, down. It doesn't have to be too tight. You can always tighten it after if you notice that there's a leak in there. So, and just get one more here. One more turn. You're good to go, I think. And also, guys, just if, like if you don't have a big, huge, gigantic screwdriver, you can you can use a loony or a toony or something that just fits in between the slots there. Yep, absolutely. Thanks, Karsten. So make sure, before you put your tailpiece in, that your gasket is in place inside this top little notch here inside the tailpiece. So you slide that gasket in just like that. Slide this tailpiece. Now I find with these sometimes it's easier to do is start it out backwards until you 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 feel a little notch go up and then go forward. It's very easy to cross thread plastic on plastic threads. So what I'll do is I'll just this just needs to be hand tight. Just snug it up just like that. Like I said, if it does leak after you do your water test, you can always just snug it up a little bit more. And that's how you install a sink strainer. In this case, we had a two compartment sink, so I just did the exact same steps to the other side. Now both sink strainers are installed. We are good to go. 
Hey everyone, thanks for watching our video. We'd like to give a huge thank you to all the subscribers we have. It, it helps us to keep us motivated um, to create more videos just like this one to keep you guys all informed on some of the right plumbing practices that me and Carson here like to use. Yeah, thanks Clayton. Uh, he's not wrong. We do really appreciate everybody that is watching and we hope you guys got something out of this video here. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, maybe leave some comments for us. Uh, so hopefully see you in the next one. See you in the next one, guys.